Monkey! Monkey! Monkey with massive testicles! Okay, hello, hello, welcome to the video. So, I think about a week or so ago now, Gecko started up his own sort of subnub Subnautica uh, YouTube gameplay series. And if I'm going to be honest, around the same time I started feeling the need to play Subnautica myself. Uh, so what I thought I'd do today is just play Subnautica and ramble about stuff. Particularly the Australian big cat phenomena. So uh, yeah, here's a video on ABCs for everyone. Just waiting for it to load in before I start rambling. What the hell? I forgot about this. Um, for some reason there's just a peeper swimming around in my base. Where are you going, even? Right, back to what I was saying about Australian big cats. Now, the first thing isn't really about Australian big cats, but it does fall into the mystery cat cal category, and that's the Queensland tiger, I believe it's called. Uh, apparently it's also by known by the name of the Yari, but I think I saw something from Malcolm Smith in, I believe it was the original edition of Bunyips and Bigfoots, that that might be a debatable name for it, or might be a name for a native species of quoll. So, if I remember correctly, the first time a Queensland tiger was sighted was in... I think it was... I think it was 1871 by a young boy, something like 13 years old. Uh, where he was out, I think, walking around exploring the bush with his dog and his dog found this weird animal uh, and decided to attack it if I remember correctly and as the fight went on uh, it, as the kid put it, got savage uh, if I remember correctly, it climbed up a tree uh, and then launched itself back down at him and his dog, and that's when he ran home. I think Shuka, in his book, Mystery Cats of the World Revisited, said that he fired a gun at it, but none of the other sources I have, uh, Australian Big Cats and A Natural History of Panthers and the original edition of Bunyips and Bigfoots say anything either about it. So I'm not sure if the gun part is true or not. I want a Cyclops now. Uh, if I remember correctly, with the Queensland Tiger, there's been multiple different theories proposed to what exactly it is. I think Smith talked about it being a mainland phylocene, uh, with a short face, shorter face at least, and I think that's the one I agree with the most. That it's a short-faced variant of the phylocene still hanging out somewhere. Another theory about the Queensland Tiger, I believe, is that it's Phylaca Leo. If I'm going to be honest, I'm not a very big believer in it being Phylaca Leo. I feel like that's... I don't know. I, I don't know why. That just doesn't seem right to me, that it could be Phylaca Leo. I mean, if you have anything that disagrees with my argument that it can't be Phylaca Leo, uh, do let me know in the comments, I guess. Main reason I don't really agree with it being Phylacaleo is the teeth. Phylacaleo, I'll show some stuff up on screen if I remember to, has these very distinct teeth. It, I think one person I've talked with about ABCs and Mystery Cats a lot said it looks like rodent teeth. And I agree with that um, description. It very much does look like rodent teeth. Meanwhile, you look at the Queensland tiger with its teeth, and they're more like elongated canines you'd see on a dog. Like a dog evolving to become a saber tooth cat. So, I wouldn't say it's Phylaca Leo behind the Queensland tiger sightings. One of the interesting parts about the Queensland tiger, or at least one of the things I find most interesting about it, is that it was pretty close to actually being considered an actual animal. I think it was 
Ellis Troughton, I think his name was. He wrote a book called Third Animals of Australia. There was multiple editions published, and some of the earlier ones in like the 1940s and I think the 50s actually had uh, chapters on Queensland Tiger. Which I'd say is the most interesting part about it. So it seemed like for a while uh, it was actually close to being considered a actual animal. Although, from what I know, these books didn't actually, um, or they did mention that there um, are no specimens actually known or scientifically confirmed of a Queensland tiger. Uh, but from what I know, since then it's sort of fallen to the wayside. Why? All right, now why don't this lithium? Let's see. Do I have lithium? If I remember correctly, sightings of Queensland Tigers have actually dropped a lot in recent years. If I remember correctly, Smith in Bunyips and Bigfoots, and I think Williams and Lang in Australian Big Cats, uh, they state that if this thing is an actual animal that does exist, it seems like it's on the road to extinction due to just the sheer drop in sightings. Which is pretty sad, so if you do live in Queensland, or um, neighboring states do go checking around for it. What the hell happened? I think the peepers despawned. Hopefully, a Reaper of Leviathan doesn't attack or just like spawn out of nowhere. Hello? More magnetite. Give me lithium, please. I want. Lithium ion batteries that explode within like five seconds of being charged. Okay, how much? L lots of magnetite and only one lithium. <laughs> only one. Oh, what's that? Hello? Harvey Weinstein? What was that scream? I love how there was a scream as soon as I went, Hello, Harvey Weinstein. <laughs> That's a big boy. What the? <laughs> Just spinning around. Ooh. Come on, lithium. No, I don't want diamonds. I want lithium. The, the stuff that makes the uh, batteries explode in electric vehicles. Um, excuse me, what's the actual fuck? Ooh. Pretty thing. Yes, lithium. Uh, consume medical kit. All right, time to get out of here. So I do have the four lithium, right? One, two, three, four. Yes. How do you breathe? Well, uh, wait. How do you breathe? Getting back to the Queensland tiger. If I remember correctly, another thing proposed was that it was a absurdly large species of tiger quoll. Uh, in case you're wondering what quolls are, I believe they're described often as being a native cat. Like a marsupial version of a cat. Whee! Do I jump over the thing? Don't think I made it rock, did I? Oh my god. I didn't think you could jump that high out of the water in the Seamoth. Kamikaze. Just repair the seam off again for the 10 billionth time. I think I nearly lost it a couple times. How much air does this give me? Up, 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 up. Oh my god, it gives a lot. 225, Jesus Christ. That is a lot. As for the question of what do I think is the most logical conclusion on the Queensland Tiger, I feel like it might be either the Quoll theory or um, thylacine, short faced thylacine. Can I make it before I run out of power? I'm at like two power right now. Oh god, now it's dropped to one. Ooh, what's that? Lithium. Yay. Alright, what's in here? Just a PDA. Ooh. I take it that's a Jelly Ray egg. 
What is that? Cyclops bridge fragment. Oh, awesome. I, I really want to get a Cyclops. Any more pieces? Ooh. Those look like Cyclops. Cyclops hull. How many parts of the... <laughs> How many parts are there to the Cyclops? Yes, yes. I know there's 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Oh, and the batteries just died as soon as I get in. Right. Now I can breathe and continue to live on this planet. For those wanting to get some Cyclops parts as well, besides around here, I think there's some near the Aurora, the large ship. I'm telling you, someday I am going to lose this Seamoth. <laughs> Thought that was a Cyclops fragment for a second. No, it's just a massive piece of lithium. Where is the Seamoth? <laughs> I've lost it. Let us see if we can find more Cyclops parts. Without hopefully dying. Hello? Reaper Leviathan? <laughs> I don't know if there was actually one lurking around here. I honestly thought that was a Reaper Leviathan for a second. What's that? Is that Hunter Biden's nose candy? I think that's just salt. Salt. In air quotes. Hello, Reaper Leviathan? Actually, no, I think I'm in the wrong biome for those. Ghost Leviathan? <laughs> I don't want to run into one of them. So, going from Queensland Tiger to worrying about Reaper Leviathans and whether or not I can get a Cyclops and back to Australian cryptids uh, from what I know except for I think maybe Tasmania there has been a report there have been multiple reports from every uh, mainland state and territory of Australian big cats just going to show how widespread the sightings are I know you can say the same about Bigfoot, but I think that's one of the things that sort of gives a little credit to the Australian big cats possibly being an actual entity roaming the Australian bush. Because, really, right, like if it's only one or two things that occur over, like, I don't know, let's say, a period of a couple days, then, then for me, you can brush it all away as, okay, there's just whatever right it it you can brush it away as something like an escaped lion but when you have multiple different reports from different individuals ranging from zoologists to just random people who've lived here their entire lives that sort of starts to give a bit more credibility to the sightings and um, the possibility these animals actually exist in Australia. But hey, that's just me. I mean, obviously, there are going to be naysayers in every sort of controversial topic, but that's just my thoughts. I don't think there's going to be any more Cyclops parts around here, to be honest. I, I'm, I'm kind of sad about that. I'm going to lose my seam off in this place, aren't I? <laughs> Yep, probably best I repair it again. Uh, for those wondering about the Australian Big Cat Iceberg and how that's progressing, I will admit I haven't really been working on it at all. I've just been sort of lazy and feel a lot of burnout from the lion video. But I do really hope to get back to it at some point. I love how this has gone from me saying of how I want to talk a little bit about the... Australian big cats and some of the other things surrounding Australian cryptozoology to now just me like oh there's this place I can go to in Subnautica repairing the seam off for the one billionth time I'm pretty sure I've already discovered where life pod 4 is 
and have explored it, so that transmission came late. Oh god, look at that amount of metal salvage. <laughs> that is a lot of metal salvage. Exactly how many pieces of the Aurora went flying? Ah yes, just climb up underwater. <laughs> that makes sense. Right, well, that happened. <laughs> right, now how much lithium do I have to make ion batteries that will explode? If I'm gonna be honest, one thing I absolutely love when you hear people say, of like, oh, sharks in the water and all that, yeah, sure, they're dangerous, but have you ever thought maybe not spending your holiday vacation swimming in shark-infested waters? But no, that'll ruin my vacation. Right, now what can I do here? Name. Pee pee. Poo poo. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um. Titan. Don't ask why. Do not ask at all. So, getting back on the topic of ABCs after like so long. Recently got a new book on the subject. Uh, Snarls from the Tea Trees, Big Cat Folklore. Uh, for moment, really, it's, I think, on the Amazon list, if they put it as something like 208 pages, but I don't think it even cracks 200. Uh, unless you count all the unnumbered pages. Um, I have yet to read through it, apart from the introduction, but it does seem like it's going to be a interesting book to read. Because, well, you know, more info on the Australian big cat phenomena. Uh, and if I remember correctly, it's split into two parts. You have the first part written by one of the authors, and then the second part written by the other. And I think one goes over the history of the sightings, and the next is about the evidence to support um, Australian big cats. So yeah, definitely sounds like an interesting book. I'd say the best book on the subject so far that I've read is um, Australian Big Cats and a Natural History of Panthers by Williams and Lang. Uh, if you ever decide to, well, whoever is watching this, if any of you decide to get into Australian Big Cats, for me that is the default book that needs to be read on the subject. <coughs> Pardon. Jesus Christ. Come on, batteries that explode now. I think one of the stalkers grabbed the camera. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I think this is where I'll end the video now. Uh, if you enjoyed this, you know, like, subscribe, all that. And of course, um, request another if you want me to make one. Goodbye.